Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing wonderful, staying safe and healthy, and keeping others safe and healthy as well, and being happy. Nothing much going on right now here, um, but I know I haven't posted for at least a couple of days, and I just wanted to say hi, and I'm doing good, and I'm focusing on my physical and mental health. Um, my physical health, I feel great, but I'm still, I know, um, I still like to do what's best for my body and mind, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm still working and I'm loving where I'm at too. I love what I do. The people I work with, which is very important. It's who you work with. That's, you know, makes it worth staying at. Or yet, um, working at, I should say. Sorry, it's not the best wording. <laughs> but I hope you understand. Um... And I'm going to be opening my eBay and Etsy soon. Just don't, um, I prefer not to post it here on YouTube. And, um, yeah, I'm doing good and I hope you're all too. And I have thought about it. Um, I've been promoting that it's, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So I decided to, um, maybe short, I don't know how long it's going to take, um, maybe, uh, post something on YouTube, like, some information about domestic violence. Um, but nothing, like, extravagant about it. And I know I'm still learning this YouTube thing, so... <sighs> It's basically facts about it, although you all need to still get more information about it. So, right now, I have, these were in the freezer, frozen um, organic natural chicken strips. So there are no hormones, no antibiotics in the chicken and I also have my water bottled water it's um Dasani um I don't really mind which bottled water it's just so happy we got Dasani but it's a good company too <laughs> and then for my chicken I like to mix ketchup and um Sriracha, or at least a spicy with the ketchup sometimes, depending what I'm in the mood with, mood for, and I guess we can start right now. Start with something to drink, because I'm thirsty. This one is from Heinz. It's tomato ketchup, no added sugar. Yesterday, <laughs> I was eating the bad food in the frid refrigerator and freezer when I was hungry, and um, so I could get that out of the way, and so John could get the healthy stuff so he doesn't have to eat the bad stuff then, because we're both working on our health too. Although he, he's, um, doesn't have anything horrible, it's just that, or try and be healthy, and of course, sometimes there's, um, you know, try and prevent something from coming up. Shibacha. Do any of you do that too? Oh, Shiracha, this one is strong, so I just put not as much as I would normally with other um, spicy sauce. So I'm gonna mix it. 
So what I ended up eating yesterday was, um, I know he gets the food, um, from the grocery, so, um, he basically bought it. <laughs> it's just fine. I appreciate him doing groceries. I love him. John John, I love you so much, my awesome man. So I had to say that. And no, I don't do editing because I want to see, um, I want, it's sort of like helping me. I, it's like putting me, you know, without the editing. So, yeah. He's my awesome man. <laughs> and so I had two frozen pizzas. Now, they're, like, not, like, full round, but they're, like, square ones, not big. And I had, um, the rest of the pasta I made, even though it's organic, I know we're trying to cut down on carbs. And so we're cutting down on pasta. It just so happens, like, we have plant-based meatballs. Can you get some pasta for me so I can make something like a spaghetti? And that was for, you saw the other post I made. I had pasta with plant-based meatballs. So, um, yeah, so I finished it. <laughs> and we're not having pasta for a while. A very long time. Unless, of course, special occasion. But... For the most part, no. <laughs> Try and be healthier. Mm. Mm. A spice. Oh, that ketchup is so good. So what do you all like to dip your um, food in? Oh yeah, when I was mentioning about it's the people you work with that make the place worth working for, I don't want to insult my other place where I used to work for. I will always appreciate them and appreciate where I was at too. So, don't want to have any hard feelings. Just to make it clear, I appreciate them, and I appreciate where I was at, too. But it just so happened I really love where I'm at right now, too. Thank you. I just don't want anyone to take it the wrong way, you know? I understand how sometimes you say something, then... People think something different. Hmm. Just a little more sriracha. Okay, just a little. Ooh. Yes, it does have heat. <laughs> hmm. I know. 
know. I'm a very blessed person. I'm in a wonderful place right now. Body and mind. And if you're wondering from what I posted the other day, how I'm trying to reduce my milligrams of my antidepressants, um, I don't know if this, but, um, I'm doing pretty good, um, I feel a slight something, but it's something that's not horrible, it's just slight, that I can pull through of, and it's not affecting me emotionally and mentally right now, it's just something else, maybe slight withdrawal. But it's not this horrible withdrawal. But again, I did not cut cold turkey of this milligram and just automatically reduce. I'm working on the plan. And I am doing pretty well. And I'm grateful. And I know I'm a blessed person. I... Even when I was in a very dark place, I knew I was blessed, but it's hard to still feel those things when you're in situations and you feel trapped and even afterwards the effects and because what you're going through. It could be hard and I'm able to still afford things, but of course, you know, I'm still saving up, and I have these wonderful children and grandchildren of mine, which are furry family, our cats, I'm grateful they're healthy too, and yes, I think they're happy, <laughs> they are. But of course, like, you know, as they did go in fights, but no horrible fights. But, um, yeah, most part they're good. And, um, I have wonderful John. My awesome man, John. <laughs> Sorry if that seems weird, <laughs> but this is sort of supposed to be like putting myself out there and I do call him my awesome man. <laughs> He'd probably be laughing if he saw this, <laughs> but yeah. And I have a roof over our heads, a wonderful home. And, yes, I bought it on my own. <laughs> and, um, starting this new venture, but most part, I found wonderful people that are friends, or could be friends and family at the same time. And wonderful beings in this world. I'm appreciative and grateful to have them in my life and I hope you feel the same way about me too. I hope you know that. And I found that in Facebook as well. At first I was afraid to be on Facebook thinking that it's negative, but then when I officially started, I found and wonderful people and reconnected with wonderful people too.
I guess depending how you use it, it's the for me it's been good, but of course finding out some things like people you knew before that you're friends with just passed away. That was hard and that was part of the reason I didn't join at first. But it's, I've learned it's a wonderful place, depending how you use Facebook. What are your thoughts on that part and your experiences? I know everyone has a different experience, good or bad, or maybe in between. Hmm. How are you all doing? do would like to know how you're all doing and again if you need to talk post a comment and I will reply but again if this is something that a professional needs to handle please do not hesitate to call or hesitate, please do not hesitate to seek help with someone that can help you more professionally than I can. I'm no professional. I love helping others. Whatever way I can, at least. And, um, again, please research on domestic violence about it and how you can help others. Thank you for your time and your support. I always appreciate it. My name is Rachel. Have a great day.